Hi everybody, I'm just going back to basics here with Digital Cat. We're going to show you how to start a real time file once you've downloaded and installed the program. So first thing I recommend is putting shortcuts to your desktop for the translator editor program. It just makes it easier for you to get to it later on. Go to your C drive, click on program files, the x86. Um, go to Digital Cat. I'm going to click on that so that I can see the contents of that folder. And then uh, find the transcript editor exe program. Right click on it and you can send it to your desktop. You can pin it to your taskbar, which is this bar down here, or you can pin it to your start menu, which is this section of the start menu up here. It'll always be up there. So once you do one of those things, open up the translator editor program. Um, now we're going to start a new session by going to File, and New Session. Here's where we're going to make sure that uh, the writer that we're using is selected. I'm using a Lightspeed writer, so I'm going to use Bear in real time. And next thing to do is make sure that the COM ports are correct and that they match. So um, with, light, with the Lightspeed, if you're using that, uh, you're going to want to do the same thing with the Lightspeed program and pin it to your um, desktop or wherever, somewhere easy that you can open it quickly. And you can do that by going to, where is it? Lightspeed, here we go. Um, and uh, the Lightspeed EXE program. Right click on that and pin it to your start menu or send it to your desktop. Just put it somewhere that it's easy to get to. And then once you have it open, by the way, before I open the Lightspeed program, I make sure that the Lightspeed writer itself is turned on. I have some trouble sometimes with it communicating if I don't turn the writer on first and then open this program. Just a little tip. Anyway, so I'm going to hit a couple keys on the light speed so you can see that it is working. I like to make sure that it is working before I try to start up and I'm going to go back to the translator editor program um, because, oh, sorry, I wanted to show you that the COM ports do match up. COM 12 here, COM 12 here. If you do need to change it in the light speed program, hit stop. OK, and then you can change it from there. So I'm going to hit start again. Once again, hit a couple keys, make sure that it is working. And um, if you're not using a Lightspeed writer and you need to check the COM port, you can hit um, go to your device manager, however you want to get there. I have a video about that. Um, but go to your device manager and just look in the ports here, and you can find what port you're supposed to be using. Okay, so 12 is what we're supposed to be using. It matches up here, it matches up there. We're going to hit OK. Next is your dictionary setup. Um, I can do more videos on dictionaries, but for now, just basically my main dictionary is on the bottom. My job dictionaries are on top. Digital Cat is going to look for translations in this order, top to bottom, and then left to right with all these settings. We can play around with those later, but for now, we're just getting started. So hit OK. Now it's going to ask you for a template. Just hit OK. We're doing the default one now. You can play around with your templates later. Hit Open. And now it's going to ask you to name the file that it's about to create. My default is the date. So I'm going to hit Save. And yeah, I'm going to replace it because this is just for practice. And once you hit OK there, now you can see that the name of the file is the date, just like you told it to. And you can start typing. Writing. Sorry, not typing. <laughs> Start writing on your writer. And you can see that um, your steno is coming up over here, and your English translation is coming up over here, and you are now translating into a real time file with DigitalCat. So, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I hope that you uh, found this helpful.